Hi guys, it's Fresh Air Bell Town here and we woke up this morning searching for bacon so we made our way to Oh, you get a phone call right when I start to do the recording So yeah, we, we stepped out to try and find some bacon and as usual it was quite hard Oh, let me pause this So guys, I'm back again So yeah, um, I'm even contemplating whether to reduce the video volume because it's sort of it's quite hard to hear my voice anyway so we made our way to i think it's i think it's called Shoprite in a crown mall to go and find the selection of bacon that they have and generally we opt for the slight version so they have a huge chunk of bacon you tell them how many grams or how many kilos of bacon you want and they just slice it for you but i guess because of covid they've changed a lot of things we've been searching all the supermarkets in the area for the past few days really since we got here and we're really struggling to find any any decent bacon um, this is the only thing we found as in it's it was just four slices for about 60 or 70 Ghana which in the very large household I find myself in that would not go very far because our meal times uh, we're generally feeding about 10 people at a go and yeah we don't really scrimp on on anything so yeah it's it's been quite hard we've been searching and searching and we didn't really come to Shoprite so that was what we found and we didn't really come to Shoprite because um, Flo is of the opinion the bacon that they sell there is not very nice so we've been trying A and C Mall and all the other places to see if we can find some decent bacon in Accra but as you can see we can't so anyone watching this if you know of any place that we can find some bacon I think we have tons and tons of sausages and salami and stuff in the house but if you can find anything that we can have for breakfast we're meant to have well actually we opted for wache this morning so if you can help us find some decent bacon somewhere just let me know and yeah we will get some so yeah that's the kind of struggles that what one will call the middle class struggles one finds one has to do with in Accra finding things that you get from the UK and as you can see most of the things that we buy are imported so you do pay a premium on all these things that's why when we can we try as much as possible to bring as much as we need to last a couple of days or whatnot that we find ourselves here so that it makes that you don't really feel like you've actually left London but you still get all the usual pleasures if I can see of things that you like from there so yeah this was what the struggle was today going around a crown mall trying to find bacon for breakfast tomorrow but as you can see we didn't find anything so we opted to top up on fizzy drinks which we've I think run out so we had to pick up a few and I think we also got some dates and later on we picked up some ice cream which I think we'll be having tomorrow after lunch. So, yep, yeah, that's a quite a life for you. Um, the other, I don't know whether I've actually done a video, but I don't think I have the stuff. But the other thing I keep an eye on is the cost of um, bell peppers. So the red, the greens, the yellows, and they are they sold at some seriously exorbitant prices here. So, yeah. If you can, you can drop a few in your. I, I don't know whether you can fly to a crowd with um, fresh fruits and vegetables. I know a few countries have these strict rules about what you can bring in or not. And I'm not sure, I think you might have to declare it, and that'll cause a whole lot of issues. So, yeah. Yeah, if you can, bring what you can. If not, yeah. And actually, we're even struggling to find Coke as well. So, we just about found this well there's quite a lot here in a crown mall sorry this not yeah i think this is a crown mall yeah the one near the airport so yeah we bought a few and made our way home anyway guys don't forget to comment don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and share with friends and yeah i'll see you on the next video thank i need to say thanks thanks <laughs> I'm, I'm becoming very african now okay see you guys bye